welcome to another episode of the Stump Hive. We are going to try to get some pollen patty on these guys. Not exactly sure how we're going to do it, but we're going to give it a try. Now, I noticed something interesting the other day, and I'll see if I can articulate this and make it understandable. In a previous video, um, I believe the one that I called buttoning them up for winter, I talked about why I wasn't going to wrap my hives. And I explained my reasoning behind all of that. Let me see if I can get y'all at a better angle. So I said I wasn't going to wrap my hives because I wanted the sun to be able to penetrate the boxes. Then also in another video that I believe is called Preparing for Winter Storm Landon, I talked about how the stomp hive should be thick enough that they don't need a wrap and should be able to survive Winter Storm Landon. Shortly after Winter Storm Landon passed and I had already unwrapped all of my other hives, I came out to the bee yard around noon to find that everybody was out buzzing around. It's about 60 degrees, except for the stump hive. Well, this made me a little nervous and I thought, oh no, I lost my stump hive during that storm. So I came out and I opened the cover. There was some dead bees on the entrance and I didn't see any bees crawling around inside. So sure enough, I was like, I lost my stump hive. As a last ditch effort, I put my ear down over the opening and I thumped on the side of the log and that's when I heard them. I heard the cluster way down deep inside the stump. So what came to mind was the point that I had made about my hive wraps. All of these other hives were catching that sun and were warm enough to be out and flying around. But because the stump is so thick, they were not catching that sun and they were still cold and clustered at noon in 60 degrees. So that kind of proves what I was thinking, that you want the sun to penetrate these boxes so that the bees can get an earlier start to the day. But the downside to that is that in the summertime, they're working harder to cool their hives. So maybe Jim at Mino Farm has it right. Now I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do this, but I think, I can just cut this in half and stuff it down in there, I guess. Hopefully I can get these guys out of this stump. Um, probably about April is what I'm thinking. And, you know, I have no idea how I'm going to do that. I have never done a cutout. So I'm, I'm not even going to pretend that I know how. I'm definitely going to hit YouTube for some videos, um, watch Dirt Rooster, Yappy, Mr. Ed, because that's what they do is cutouts. And I'm sure I will learn something. All right, let me show you what I've done here. So I simply just rolled that pollen patty up and put it in there. And now I'm just gonna stick the fondant back in there because I wanna make sure that they have plenty to eat. And I got a couple little guard bees coming up and telling me that I need to get lost. And I am not welcome here. If only they knew that I was just trying to help. Okay, so they've got pollen and they've got fondant. Now we'll staple the cover back on and leave them be. There's not much of a colony in here. I think it's pretty tiny but they seem to be thriving and hopefully they can make it till I can get them out of the stump and into a five frame nuke. 
that's the stump hive in all her glory. We've got it taken care of. They've got plenty of food in there. Hopefully that queen will get to work and build this little colony up. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more of the stump hive.